Elizabeth Taylor is a true classic silver screen siren. It's hard to find an actress who is more fitted for the title of movie star. Her velvet violet eyes, dark raven hair and voluptuous figure garnered Elizabeth worldwide attention. She became widely regarded as the most beautiful woman in film history, which also made her the most adored and consequently the most envied. Elizabeth's rare beauty was hard to deny and she became one of the most photographed women of her time. Her iconic status reflected on the popular series of Andy Warhol prints. Let's go back to where it all started, where her doll-faced appearance and girlish enthusiasm in the film National Velvet turned Elizabeth into MGM's best young talent. From child star to leading lady, a constant stream of successful films saw Elizabeth skip the awkward transition that other child stars encountered. In 1954, she appeared in four films. At only 22 years of age, she was considered one of the world's most beautiful women. On screen, Elizabeth portrayed intense, emotionally volatile characters. Off screen, however, her tempestuous personal life overshadowed any fictional drama she encountered on film. By the time Elephant Walk was released, Elizabeth had already walked down the aisle twice. Her private life, which had become a web of affairs and unsuccessful marriages, made Elizabeth a publicity magnet. Infamous for breaking up relationships, she lived a life full of more drama and excitement than any screenplay. Her femme fatale reputation during the filming of Cleopatra, which came about after she began her fiery, passionate relationship with Richard Burton, ending her marriage to Eddie Fisher, saw the production become the highest grossing film of the 1960s. One of the few true legends of the silver screen, Elizabeth almost didn't make it through cinema's golden age. Whilst filming Cleopatra, she was struck down with a life-threatening bout of pneumonia. But in true Elizabeth Taylor style, she bounced back to win an Academy Award. Growing up in the public spotlight, she always appeared confident and elegant. Often reflecting the fashion movements of the time, Elizabeth herself became something of a trendsetter. She was even the first celebrity to lend her name to a line of perfumes. Her company, The House of Taylor, went on to become a multi-million dollar fragrance empire. It seems that everyone wanted a piece of this siren's unique beauty. Her years in the spotlight saw Elizabeth become close friends with the likes of pop star Michael Jackson and singer Elton John, whom she counts amongst her closest friends. She celebrated a wedding at good friend Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch and a birthday at Disneyland. But Elizabeth hasn't forgotten those who are no longer with us. Upon the death of her friend Rock Hudson in 1985, with whom she starred with in Giant, she began her crusade on the behalf of AIDS sufferers. She helped establish the American Foundation for AIDS Research, created the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation and has been recognised as a great humanitarian. She no longer considers herself an actress, but an AIDS awareness campaigner. Elizabeth is known to have owned some of the world's finest pieces of jewellery, but is also known to part with some of her favourite items to help raise money for her charities. Her public appearances are now few and far between, though when she does step out, she always appears feisty and in good spirits. Despite decades of health problems, the extravagant Oscar winner maintained her sense of humour, not to mention her love of life and go-for-broke attitude. Elizabeth Taylor, the quintessential siren. Men wanted her and women wanted to be her. The rest is film history.